Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to reproduce an issue, which is uh, a replication issue. When you try to set up a replication and you try uh, and you get an error, unable to connect to actual server, machine name, and your SQL Server instance. And um, uh, even though you look back and uh, look at your machine name, machine name is same, SQL Server instance is same, the the way you, you installed or when you try to look at select at at server name returns null when you try to run this query in management studio so let's get to it uh, here's my uh, server name that's where I, this is my SQL server installed SQL server instance as you can see dynamics ax is my machine name and SQL ax prod is my instance name so if I try to set up a replication let me just click on configure distribution it's gonna give me the same error SQL Server is unable to connect to this instance and even though I'm connected with the same uh, as you can see let me uh, th this is up here uh, I'm connected with the using the same um, username so if I connect it's going to give me an error and SQL Server application requires the actual server name to make connection to the SQL Server. So let's uh, dig deep into it. Um, whenever you try to set up a replication, replication actually try to see at at server name the server name in system servers. So if you select asterisk from sys dot servers or sys servers execute you will not see anything in the table so if it doesn't actually get any server name from there it is going to give you issue so since there is no server so it thinks that uh, there is no local server exists for me to connect so the resolution to this uh, actually problem is that you run underscore add server store procedure and you put that entry dynamics whatever your uh, machine name is whatever your SQL Server instance name is AXPRD and then you go ahead and make it local and you run this command command uh, completed successfully and now we're gonna see select asterisk from sys servers so let's run that it says server dynamics ax sql server already existed uh, if you look now uh, up here actually i have a uh, this command was up there running so i'm going to go ahead and run that so this is um, since we ran this one it already added this one um, up here the entry and now uh, uh, this doesn't resolve right there if you added this entry and you try to configure that you're gonna get the same error the reason is that SQL server services needs to be restarted in order this in order for this to take effect so let's go ahead and restart the services it's not gonna take but a minute All right, SQL Server is restarted. Uh, agent is still waiting, so we're gonna go ahead and refresh the connection. And now we're going to look at whether our entry is still there or not. I'm going to connect to new query, paste it here, and you can see this entry is right there. And now if you try to set up replication, right click on replication and configure distribution you will see that it's working and I hope this resolution help you in many ways